Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have an old friend here on my cask. It's the Ochentoschen, 21 years old, 43% ABV and priced, well, 130, 40, 50, wherever you live. And unfortunately, since a few years, whiskeys above an age of 18 years, they are growing expensive. Uh, but for a 21 year old, this is still a quite reasonable price. The Augentoschen is a whiskey from the lowlands. The distillery lights on, lies on the outskirts of Glasgow to the west, close to the Erskine Bridge. And they have a wonderful visitor center. The tour there is wonderful. There are pictures on whiskey.com in our database. And I think I did a video there. Yes, might be. Um, <clears throat> The Ontoshin, 21 years old, isn't that available. So it's quite rare and not always available. So if you're able to get your fingers on this bottle, uh, have one. And uh, this is one of the very few distilleries from the lowlands, which is uh, still three times distilled. So they have three stills and that results in a very high ABV from the uh, running spirit or raw whiskey out of the third still uh, up to 80 percent 160 american proof uh, so this whiskey is really clean and smooth and with a uh, 21 year old uh, maturation in those oak casts you get a wonderful uh, additive maturation uh, taste from the cask and they use two different casks so the ex-bourbon cask as well as ex-sherry cask and the bourbon cask deliver uh, vanilla notes of course and the sherry cask nuttiness this is uh, what's written in here <coughs> on the oh, on the what's how it's called uh, on the package with this upfold <coughs> two fine casks 21 long years. North American oak casks are perfect for maturing Ockentoshen, rich to citrus and vanilla flavors, uh, having previously held bourbon. So gray writing on a gray background, not the best idea from the marketeers here, from the designers. Rich in citrus and vanilla, held bourbon, uh, combined with Spanish sherry casks, adding depth of nuttiness. We carefully marry those casts to create the fresh gooseberry and vanilla smoothness. Uh, every single drop, three triple distilled. Yeah, and inside this box we find <laughs> the typical uh, oval shaped Ockentoshen bottle which changed the appearance 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Before that, they had a, uh, a small emblem over here. And before that, they had the uh, standard liquor bottle. So this bottle now is decades in use. Yeah. Good. Have a look inside. Here's the opener. Mature, older, sherry, oak, and behind that, fruity notes, wonderful exotic fruity notes, a hint of citrus, yeah, complex, full, mature. Officially is set some mint in it. No, I do not have that. Light citrus. A little coolness from that. Yeah. I'm 
triple distillation, smooth spirit, um, long maturation in oak casks, vanilla notes from the ex bourbon casks, and some nuttiness like walnuts, a little sharp nuts, probably hazelnuts, not the cooked ones, but the fresh ones, giving a little bit of sharpness, then silky soft in the aftertaste, long aftertaste, cladding my mouth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very good. 21 years old. It's very hard to beat age. And then having a triple distilled whiskey where you do not have those weird feints or uh, oils in it. So this is a very clear uh, malt whiskey. You get those maltiness in it still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't beat age. No, you can't. So I hope that they are producing enough uh, to get their warehouses filled with this whiskey for the upcoming decade. So we will see the 21 year old um, Ogentoshan triple distilled cherry cask matured, experiment and cherry cask matured um, in bigger quantities in the upcoming years. Yeah. This is a really good one. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come as always. Thank you.